There's a bird located in the Feldiff Hills area of Old School RuneScape called the Chompy. This is what a Chompy looks like when it's died and is laying on the floor. This is a giant spider boss called Seracnus. Seracnus is located in the Forthos dungeon on Zaya. Do you by chance notice any similarities between this dead bird and Seracnus? Have fun with that information. Mammal, uh, I want you to know none of us care if you sound a bit off. We're here for you, not your voice. Yeah, you're not here for my voice. You're here for my voluptuous breasts. I'm on to you. You died to this one all the time. I, I'm not gonna die. I'm a changed man. Okay. Liar. That's a lie. I don't die to mute dial anymore. Yes, you do. This is like the most... I bet this is the boss you died at the most. Out of every, any other boss. You're probably right. <laughs> God, look at this har look at this workplace harassment. This would be like this would be your wife like coming to work with you and you work at like FedEx and she's like, Oh, way to drop the package, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet you stacked that one wrong. <laughs> Idiot. You gonna put that in your video? <laughs> yeah, I am gonna put that in my video. How do you like that? <laughs> yeah, it's not looking great. 33 HP, should I eat or not? Yes. Okay. Oh, he hit a 32. Oh, that would have been really close. I told you to eat. Oh, jeez, come on. Okay, good. See, I didn't die. You were close. There's... If it wasn't for me, you would have been at one health, so... Close only counts in horseshoes and... What the fuck's the other thing? The, the express, the, it's horseshoes and something, but like, hand grenades. Horseshoes and hand grenades. I'm always very so... How the fuck did I just fail that spear trap at 99 agility? And this bot with 65 in front of me gets by with no problems. That is crazy. How lucky are you feeling, Mr. Streamer? Oh, I'm feeling lucky. You ready to see? Samurai Gloves. I've only got like 400 of those. Whoa. Neither of them collection log slots, but two uniques. And ho holy shit. At this point, I've just opened so many master caskets that I very rarely get collection log slots, but dang. Dang. From three caskets, I rolled five master clue uniques. That's pretty crazy, actually. Oh, fuck my ass, bro. God damn it. I hate dying to Vasa. You know, dying dying to Mutadile is one thing. Because it's like, you know what? Mutadile just sucks. But dying to Vasa is so fucking stupid. Like, so avoidable. Please, feel free. Oh, suck my ass, you fucking crocodile. I hope you chip one of your teeth and there's no dentists available to provide care for you, you, you bitch. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yay! Welcome back to Leviathan. <laughs> Shit. Well, as you can see, we're back at Leviathan. I, uh, I did about four days in a row of CM Cox to get the first couple minutes of footage on this video. And we just were on a, a pretty thick, dry streak at the moment, which is unfortunate. But obviously it happens. Um, and obviously, as you, uh, at this point, you can probably tell, I don't mind uh, avoiding doing solo raids. So we're back at Leviathan. Um, I am feeling motivated to try to get this Venator Vestige. It's the last ring I need, man. It's the last ring I need, and I, I'm getting pretty close to the drop rate, so I feel like, uh, you know, I'm feeling motivated to grind it out. As you can hear, by the way, my voice is pretty much back to normal. Um, I am still sick. Uh, I, I went to the doctor finally, and I do have bronchitis, uh, but for the most part, I'm doing better, uh, you know, except for this occasionally. <coughs> <coughs> Oh my god. Another smoke quartz, bro. I got so many of these damn things. I got six. 681 kill count. We got we got six smoke quartz. Although that might actually be about the drop rate, to be honest. It might be like one out of a hundred-ish. Okay, carry on, never mind. <laughs> if that is the drop rate, carry on. Awakeners or oh my wait, wait. Why these things have absolutely tanked in price. 809k. I mean, listen, last I know, Skill Specs was trying to do Awakened Duke with no tile markers. Did he just buy that many? The price went down from 1 mil to 800k. Holy shit. 690 kill count. 
Nice. They should have added, like, a little chat box message that says, like, you have a funny feeling like you... You know. They, they, they could have made it say... They, they could have made it say whatever they want, you know. Your asshole itches. I, I, don't, I don't care. Just put it in little red text and make it say whatever you want. Okay, hear me out. I'm, I'm sure they're gonna make an animation for the Elder Maul special attack. Here's what I, here's what I want. I want to swing the Elder Maul with the exact same animation that the Bull Roarer has in Legends Quest, okay? Bull Roarer overhead, and then swing it down with one hand. Whoa! Hey, that's one way for there to be a loot beam over the Awakener's orb, I guess. Whatever works. Okay. All right. Yep. Yes, yeah, Zoe. I know. I know you want your five minutes of fame. You're in the video now. Good job. Probably not very. Ah, fucking shite. Hello, hello. If I didn't click barrage right there, then you can slap my ass and call me Sally. Oh, I totally clicked barrage game. When I hung out with Roydy in Florida, he brought a case of Twisted Teas to the hotel room. And he said, hey, you gotta try this Twisted Tea. So he handed me a can, and while I was taking a drink, he twisted my nuts. We're currently at 770 Leviathan kill count, which means that we have passed the Vestige drop rate. The, uh, the Venator Vestige is 1 out of 768, so we are now officially over the drop rate, and you know what that means. I get to complain now. Woohoo. Okay, before we head off to Leviathan today, I believe they updated the look of the cape. Let's see it. Oh. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Well, the change in the, uh, the change of the cape has inspired me to, uh, switch up the crystal. I've never had all white crystal before, and I think it looks kind of clean with the cape. The cape's kind of a cream, not a pure white, but, uh, that's not bad. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not bad. It's pretty clean. Cum stole? Oh, no. The yellow was pistol. Now we've got cum stole. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I went, I, we, we went to the doctor yesterday. She told me I had bronchitis, and I was like, bro, the dinosaurs have been dead for this thousands of years ha, ha, how long have you been fucking thinking that one up is it not funny robin <laughs> jagex no this game knows when you want something and then it will not give it to you so you gotta you gotta act like you don't want it you know like if i got a venator vestige today i'd be so mad bro like oh yes Yes! Leviathan's lure! Yo! Oh no. Okay, wait. That just dawned on me. That's Soul Reaper Axe piece number three. My hand is forced. I'm gonna have to go back to Whisperer for the fourth piece now. <laughs> no. If I was still two out of four, I could I could maybe get away with being like, ah, I don't know. But if I'm just missing the Whisperer piece now, I have to go for it, surely. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. That's, uh... We're over the drop rate for the Vestige now, so it feels good to at least get something. There's a Leviathan's Lure at 845 KC, 3 out of 4 Soul Reaper Axe pieces. Okay, alright, nice. It's the Lure on top of his head? Oh, sure it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, how did I not see that? Yeah. The only item that isn't on the boss itself is the Siren Staff. The Siren Staff is the goth mommy's cock. Yo, what's up a dead squirrel? Going great. Oh my god, that baited me. Holy shit. Made my tummy do a, a whoop-de-woo. Oh, big fat manta rays to wrap it up on 850. It's a nice round number. I think I'm going to call it there. I try to get, you know, one major drop and then move on to a different piece of content. To kind of keep it fresh, um, I think what I'm actually going to do now, I'm going to go do some combat achievements as they added combat achievement tasks for the Perilous Moons and the Colosseum today. Probably not going to worry about the Colosseum just yet, but the Perilous Moons ones should be pretty quick and easy, so I might go knock those out. I think you need to go get a twist bow. 
And how do you suggest I do that? Just get it. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Should Did be you one tell more. The chat that Zoe got in trouble for being in the mud. Sit, King Host. Sorry, that's rude. Sorry, but sit respectfully. I'll, I'll bury your bones in a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I think we should be completing multiple. <laughs> Wait, only one? Oh no. Okay, so we completed Fortified, which was the task for not using any supplies during a fight. But I thought I thought I was gonna complete something else. Oh, okay, whatever. Okay, I think this should be the uh, a couple of tasks here. First of all, we should get the task for killing all three of them with only a D skim, and there's also one for killing the boss um, while wearing its respective set. Now, a little birdie told me you only have to be wearing the armor set when it dies. Yeah, betrayal. All I did was put the armor set on for, like, the last hit, so easy peasy. Oh, we've also got Moons of Peril Speed Trialist with the D-Skim. Okay. Lunar Triplet. Open the reward chest after opening all three moons. Nice. Um, yeah, I definitely killed all of them with the D-Skim only, and it did not give me the task. So, what we doing, Jagex? Okay, I need to deal 187 more damage before this thing goes to the next phase. And that should be a task done. And it should be the D-skim done if it doesn't scam me again, which I'm gonna be pissed if it does. Dude. Okay, wait, no! That's not it! Okay, no, there it is. It was a little delayed. Okay, so high hitter was killing a Perilous Moon boss before it does its second special attack. And then back to our roots was using the D-Skim. Okay, so no more D-Skim. Um, so I think all we really have now- Well, there's, a, there's still a few more left, I think. The Clone Zone. That was a task for only killing the Eclipse Moon during its uh, clone phase. Used my Elder Maul for that one. The one that's skyrocketing in price, you should totally buy one now. This message brought to you by Big Elder Mole. Hey, moons of Peril Speed Chaser. And I even did that while doing the the Eclipse Moon task. I've, as if I'm trying to flex when I'm doing this mid-tier content in my max melee. Wow. Good job, Mr. Streamer, that's so impressive. I'm a little concerned about taking damage from these Jaguars. I feel it is all but certain. Unless Scythe just pops the fuck off here. Oh, you could totally do it. Please, please hit, please. Oh, easy. Scythe clutch, and that should be the perfect task done. Yeah. Perilous dancers completed. Okay. Well, all we got now is uh doing 10 kill count in one run. So, just got to do a few more runs and we're all done again. Should do it. Yeah. Fat of the land. It's cut. Okay. I mean, I guess it. Because you stay here for 10 chests, so you're utilizing the resources around you, so that. I don't know. I, I Okay, I get what they're getting at, but that's kind of a weird name. Anyways, that's a uh, 10 kill count in one trip, and with that, let's pull it up, bosses. Perilous moons. Yep. Moons of peril. 12 out of 12. All done. Do it for me one time. But an elite clue, and that's my third one, so that means tomorrow, we can do three masters. And get a bloodhound. It's time, we're starting the day with three master caskets. Will they bring us happiness? Or deepen our depression? Casket one is pretty goddamn bad. Casket two is my 550th master casket. Damn. I wonder where I'm at on the high scores for Iron Man. 550 Masters. Uh, we got the Nutsack drop. And number three... It, oh my... Oh my... What the fuck? 268, 271, 298k? I didn't break 300k one time, bro. What the hell? Longbone? Why, that's... One out of 400! And a purple... Is like... One out of 16! That's uh, not a, that's a false, so it, it doesn't really compare very well, but still, that's technically true. 
What? I did not click on the rope! No! I didn't even click on it! Oh, fuck off. That's just, it's, it's the worst death because there's just nothing you can do. Once you've clicked the rope, there's no canceling it, there's no brewing it. You just, you just get to wait for your death to happen. Let's take a look at this screenshot. Do you see where that red X click is at? That's the tightrope, apparently. Yeah, alright. Whoa! Well, that's like, uh... That's like Final Destination. I should have died to the melee chomp, so that was just, like, bound to happen. Last one of the night. Oh! Oh, well, it's not the last one of the night now because we're gonna have to go for the back-to-back. -back. Listen, a Twisted Bow, once you, once you get a purple, a Twisted Bow is 1 out of 34. That's not that rare. What's 1 out of 34? Literally, just get it. I fucking hate my life. I really do. Just, just unironically, just don't want to, just do not want to be in the raid, bro. Just sadness. Just, just sadness. <sighs> okay. I don't know why I didn't brew. Nah. Nah. Nah! Bro, that is so stupid. There's no way I get a fucking back-to-back -back after I just died 30... Okay. Well, before I waffle on too much, what is it first? I deserve that. I I deserve that. You know what? I... I... That... That's... That fits. I deserve that.